everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're going to be doing an Old Navy dress try on. I actually am heading to Florida in a few weeks for a family party. It happens to be the day of the Kentucky Derby. Not that it's Derby themed, but I thought maybe I can have a little fun with the Derby theme. I don't know if any of these dresses fit that bill, but you know, here you can see a little bit of the print on one of them. So, that was the catalyst of this video. I need a dress and I said, well, let me ask my friends. So please comment down below your choice for the party. All right, let's get started. The first dress is this, what Old Navy is calling a fit and flare linen blend ruffle trimmed maxi cami dress. That's a whole lot of title there. It does come in extra small through 4X. I will leave all the sizing detail down below. So by all means, if I don't mention it as I'm walking through, just know that the sizing detail is below. But for the most part, Old Navy is very size inclusive and it's usually extra small through 4X. Anyway, I just wanted to point that out. This dress has adjustable straps with a ruffle trim around the V-neck which I think is just, you know, a nice little feminine touch. It does have a smocked back. I can't remember if I turned around in all the clips. I do try to turn, but I have to be honest with you, sometimes I, you know, lose my balance and then I'm like, oh gosh, that wasn't a good clip, so I pull it. But it does have a smocked back, which is nice because it does have a little bit of give. And if you do have some issues with your back, well then this sort of, camouflages it a little bit which I like and I just love the front slit at the hem I think it's just a nice little detail just to show a little bit but not too much and this dress is a linen and viscose it's 55% linen and 45% viscose and the lining is 100% cotton I think it's really cute I love the polka dots I don't know if in my head I'm thinking little pretty women I don't know, help me out if you guys agree with that. I've been paired it with some shoes from Target from last year. I will have those linked below as well. But I also can see wearing these with flat sandals, maybe even some sneakers, maybe some high tops or just plain sneakers. I could be on board with making this even much more casual as opposed to trying to dress it up for a party. So that's the first look. And by the way, this is the only print that this dress comes in. Okay, the next dress, which I don't want to spoil it, but I was very surprised to see that I actually liked it. And the reason behind that is it has two cutouts on the side by your waist. But that could be a little bit of an insecurity for some of us where we may not want to show that part of our body and expose it. But I will say I was very pleasantly surprised to see that it's A, just a little bit, and if the dress fits properly, there's no issue. It's not that you're going to sit down and you're going to have everything hanging out. I think it's a beautiful detail. You're seeing a lot of cutouts from dresses to shirts, but in dresses, I'm seeing them all over the place. But I was skeptical. I was like, I don't know if I can pull this off. Is this for the young? And I said, I'm young and I'm going to wear it if it looks good. And I think it looks really cute. I love the print. They're calling it a pink coral. It does come in a navy, uh, a polka dot navy, and then a navy print. The one that I picked up is the one that spoke to me the most because I just love the colors and I was thinking derby maybe. I don't want to repeat myself but I will say that I was pleasantly surprised. So you can see that it does have you know more of like a shirt style top with the collar which I really like and then it does have short sleeves. It does have one of my favorite details in a dress and that's seamed pockets. So that's great. It's 100% cotton. I, I think it's just adorable. So please be honest and let me know your thoughts, but I think it's a fun dress. And even the polka dot would be a really cute style as well. I am wearing these with these strappy sandals from Walmart, which I absolutely love. They do come in black and also pink. And I keep telling myself I want to pick them up in pink because I just think they're just so versatile. I know it's not for everyone, but hear me out. They are so comfortable 
and you don't have to bring the straps all the way up to your calf I think you can just leave it right around your ankle and that would be fine as well I've done that already but they're just a nice stylish shoe that's a little bit different and again I realize it's not for everyone but I will point out that they are really comfortable and the straps around my legs do not bother me at all it's not when I'm sitting or walking that I can feel them where the straps are really you know sort of strangling my legs it's not like that at all they are really comfortable but if you didn't want to wear heels or something the way I styled it, I think you can wear just a pair of flat sandals. That would be a very nice look as well. I wanted to mention a little bit about myself and my style because I do have some new subscribers. So thank you all for being here. I really appreciate it. I am 5'2 and I'm short waisted. And I've always had, for the most part, most of my friends were on the taller side. I had a few that were around my height, but growing up, I always disliked being on the shorter side. And so I always tried to elevate myself with wearing heels. And that's just been the staple for me over time. And you know, with knees and legs and aches and pains, I, I've certainly adapted to more flat shoes or sneakers even but my comfort is really heels so anything that i'm wearing if i'm showing it for the most part it's going to be heels but i do want to mention that you wear what makes you comfortable and what you feel good in for me it's mainly heels so i just wanted to mention that because i also feel with being on the shorter side and short waisted i just feel as if the heels elongate my silhouette that's my spiel on the heels that's my spiel on the heels anyway okay let's continue and move this along joni so it hits it mid calf for most it will and i think it does just that on me as well so you know you're not going to be tripping over a maxi per se i think it's a nice midi length on a 5'2 frame they're saying actually it's 46 to 48 inches long i hope that's helpful this is just my regular size this isn't petite this isn't tall this is just a regular size so that 46 to 48 inches is for a regular size i spoke enough about this let me know your thoughts this next look is really very funny i like the print it happens to be the dress i'm wearing right now and i end up picking it up taking it home as i'm getting prepared to do this try on i look at it and i realize that it's maternity so i don't know what that says you, i shouldn't have told you i wish i would have waited till the end just to see your thoughts but it's just a really cute polka dot Again, really big this season, one of spring's trends, has a button down, beautiful, right? Really cute. It's 100% cotton, it comes in black, comes in white, comes in this print, comes in nice size range. But when I went to go tie the belt, it was awkward. Like it, it's not a wrap, it's not going all the way around, it's just like right here, like under my bust. And I was like, I don't understand what they want me to do with this belt. Well come to find out it's for the growing bump so you guys let me know what your thoughts are on this like do i keep it or return it like i don't know is it too much material i was cracking myself up with this because i just thought oh my gosh johnny what is wrong with you but i still put it in and i think it's a really cute adorable dress but it's maternity so not sure how many of you watching are in that reality in life, but that's certainly not me. I'm way beyond that. And, but the dress is really cute. I do think that you can make it work. Obviously, if you're not pregnant, I do think that you can make it work, but I just had to share because I thought it was hysterical. And of course, you know, if you are in that season of life, well, you can button this down. And if you were nursing, well, it's easy access for nursing as well. Maybe there's somebody out there watching that is. The next look is this blue Oxford. I just think this is adorable. It is 100% cotton. It does have a nice V-neck to it. It does have the tie shoulders that actually 
are functional so you can make it like a little bit more scrunchier up here but i just thought it was so cute the sleeveless may not be for everyone but i wanted to try it i don't really have concerns about my arms you know maybe i should but maybe i shouldn't and i just wear what i like and this happened to speak to me i'm not necessarily 100 percent sure that i love it on me and a lot of that has to do with the smocking across the waist again that can really cut me in a weird place if it's not perfect and i'm not sure that it's hitting me perfectly i'm going to go out on a limb and say that i think this can look great on anyone it's one of those dresses that day to night would work perfectly on vacation you know it's spring summer it's all the things and I just feel as if you can really do a lot with it. I, I just need to work with it a little bit and see if it's really for me. But I do think it's a beautiful dress. This next look wasn't purposeful for the party, but being that denim is another spring trend, I wanted to try it. Unfortunately, the way I styled it is not how it's shown online. And when I talked about cutouts before, it's actually supposed to have, supposed to have a little peep cutout like right above your belly button and under your bust area. So like right center. I didn't style it like that because I didn't know that's how it was supposed to look. Although I'm not mad at the way I styled it, I'm going to have to play around and make it more of a the twist tie in the front and have the cutout. I love the blouse and sleeves. I think that's a nice added touch. I think it's a cute dress and the silhouette, everything, it does tie in the back. Sometimes I love that, sometimes I don't. Um, but this, I understand why it does tie in the back. It makes perfect sense, otherwise you're covering up the cutout. Out, although what cut out Joni because yours doesn't exist I think everything I've shown is 100% cotton including this one the sleeves have these elasticized cuffs and I always like that because then you're able to like push them up a little bit and and or pull them down and they stay in place so that's nice but again this wasn't for the party but I did want to share it now that I know how to style it I think it's a really even cuter dress than when I saw it, than the way I styled it. But again, not everyone is comfortable with exposing their midriff, and I understand that. So maybe I'll just wear it if I decide to keep it. You guys let me know. I'll wear it the way I styled it. The next dress is black, which does come in navy also. It was just something simple about it. I did pair it with some green slides and just threw on a green bag just for a pop of color. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I was really doing this. I was just picking dresses up, but also with the party in mind. And I, this certainly isn't derby ready or anything like that. It's just your basic simple black dress, but it does have some fun details. It does have, there's probably about five buttons in the front. I like that short dress look on me. It does have short sleeves. It does have an elasticized back waist, which is nice for a little bit extra room, you know, when we need it. It also does have hidden cutout in the front. It almost could appear that it's a two piece, but it's just right in the front and i feel as if I, I hope that i was able to show that to you in the clip but you can't see the cutouts it, it it's there but it's truly hidden so it's like the material underneath comes up higher but there is a gap between the two pieces it's your basic rayon nylon linen dress it does have a nice little slit in the front i think it's a little stylish it's versatile you can do a lot with this as well. A truly basic, versatile dress, flat sneakers, sandals, heels, the works. I also, obviously, if you haven't noticed, I just kept all the same shoes on because this is such a quick trip for me that I just wanted to be sure I can bring one pair of shoes for the party and not a ton of different ones. So that's the essence of why I'm wearing, for the most part, just one pair. That's the reason why I'm only trying them on with one pair. Normally I like to try and change up the shoes, but in this case I wanted to see how they all look with the same pair of shoes, except for the first look was a different pair. All right, everyone, that does it for my Old Navy dress try-on haul. Please leave your comments down below. Which ones do you think are working for me? Tell me what your thoughts are and what you think I should wear to the Derby slash 
non-derby party. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate you all being here. Thank you again, and I will see you in my next video.